Hi, YouTubers. Uh, this is my 2007 uh, Articat turbo diesel. You heard right. This is a turbo diesel. Uh, I made my own kit. Uh, this uh, engine is a Lombardini diesel engine. Uh, it came like that from the factory, but it did not have a turbo. So I installed this turbo. If you see on the left side of the motor, there is an exhaust flange and it goes through the stock muffler and the rear muffler, I've uh, modified it a bit. Um, the spark arrestor has been removed and I've added this uh, exhaust pipe so it uh, gets the flow a little bit better on the exhaust. Um, also here, if you look at the battery, uh, the stock battery was quite small, so I put this uh, car battery. This is the same battery as what they use in the Volkswagen TDIs, so it should be good enough for a two cylinder. Uh, if you look on the top here, I put like a box so uh, I can store some stuff and to carry a second passenger. These uh, TRV, well they were built on a TRV chassis uh, which you could uh, bring to passenger. Uh, on the right side of the motor here, you see the turbocharger, you see the wastegate, and you see the exhaust manifold with the adapter that I made. You see also the probe on the left side. Uh, to measure the exhaust uh, temperature. Um, here on the top, this is the oil line, feeds the turbo, and on the side here, there is, uh, this is the inlet air that comes from the air filter. Uh, here is the uh, wastegate uh, uh, controller, so that controls the boost, it's mechanical. Um, on the top, if you look, uh, this is this uh, pipe here that goes to the uh, intake manifold. This is the pressure side that goes out of the turbine for the turbo. And then uh, on the top here, you see the uh, um, big air filter that comes from the factory. Uh, also on the top, you can see the turbocharger and the installation on the top. Uh, this bike, like I said, it's got an Italian motor. This is the Lombardini uh, motor that came from the factory. This is the, the tag and this is a Canadian model so it's in kilometers you can put it in miles also but uh, I've uh, total uh, 4,426 kilometers with it um, this turbo has been installed on this machine almost since new um, I've made myself uh, snorkel here so I was scared to get some water into the engine uh, if you look, uh, the, the diesels, they have a big uh, radiator compared to a gas model. I've got a winch install. Uh, I run also some uh, snow tracks for the winter. It reduces the speed, but uh, it gets you there. And if you look on the left side here, again, this motor uses a timing belt. So the timing belt cover. It's got an alternator. That's how they are built and the transmission is separated from the motor, okay? So if you have a problem with the transmission, it could be removed and rebuilt without taking the engine apart. Um, and these uh, bikes been designed for the US military and farmers, and it's been engineered by Roush Engineering. So it uh, runs very good, and uh, I wish they would have made one like that, but uh, with electronic injection and uh, similar to a VW TDI technology. And then, uh, then it would be much more powerful. But as it is right now, it's much, much better. So uh, some people was asking me to, for some videos. So then I did, and uh, so hope you're happy. And uh, this is uh, what it looks like. All right, thanks, bye-bye.